I brought a message for somebody who's been going through the fire and wondered in their own mind how long, why are things like they are. Some of you have been through enough stress that you shouldn't have lost your mind. Don't think it's strange when things happen to you because the truth of the matter is every man, every woman, every boy, every girl will go through a time where your faith must stand trial. If we can just stand for every trial, there's going to be a glory. And if you just stand, I know it's hard on you, but if you just stand, even up under this pressure you're going through, if you just stand, when you get to the right place, you're going to look back over your shoulder and you're going to see a miracle. You're stronger than you think you are. You're tougher than you think you are. You can go through more than you think you can. And when the world is against you and beating you down, I need you to get up and prove everyone wrong. All you do is you fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again. That's how you win. Things are going to get harder, things are going to get tougher. It's the way life works. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. If you can pick yourself up every single time you get knocked down, you can make it. You will never know that you have faith until you're in a good fight. Real faith is proven in the furnace of affliction, in the time of adversity. Even if you're in the middle of a disaster, you can use that disaster for direction. It is through the disaster, it is through the adversity that our strength is developed. You find out things about yourself that you didn't know. I'm stronger than I thought I was. I'm more resilient than I thought I was. Life keeps changing, and as life keeps changing, and circumstances keep changing, you gotta be flexible enough to change on a dime and switch this way and turn back this way. And if you don't make the right switch, you find yourself stuck. The thing you need to win is resilience. You can't just keep trying different stuff, different stuff, different stuff, because you can never say something didn't work when you didn't have to try. Greatness takes time. It takes time to build your brand, it takes time to build your life, it takes time to build your career. You gotta be prepared to get a thousand no's to get one yes. So stop feeling sorry for yourself over what challenges are thrown at you. This is a part of the process. It is part of the journey. How will you ever grow if you never have any pressure? You should be thanking the universe for putting you through this. Because these problems you're having, these are the greatest opportunities to get stronger. When you're committed, when you're invested, when you're all in, you can't throw in the towel. You can't just walk away. Because you won't quit when you got some skin in the game. You won't just walk away easy. When you don't have nothing invested, it's easy to walk away. See, sometimes, some people only want it without struggle. But if you're serious about reeling it in, you have to put some effort. Get up! Compete! Many of y'all are not competing. I need effort. Compete! Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I do know that before it's over, I'm coming out of this. There may have to be a sequel. This can't be the end of the movie. I have got to come out of this. This may be a commercial break, but it's not over. Expect me to come back. Expect me to come back. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know where, I don't know what I'll have to go through, but expect me to come back. I might look bad today, but expect me to come back. I may be crying right now, but expect me to come back. I may be broke, busted and disgusted, but expect me to come back. I need you to keep fighting. Never stop, never quit. Never allow anybody to talk you out of your vision, your dreams, or your big ideas. You have got to be relentless. Never let your foot off the gas. Never stop. Never quit. Despite all the sh** you're going through right now, you can win. Despite the pain, you can win. Despite all the heartache and pain and discomfort you're feeling right now, you can win. You have what it takes to get through this. You can turn this whole situation around and you can come back better. 
Life is something that's not happening to you, it's happening for you. All these hard things that you're going up against right now are there to grow you. They're there to push you. They're there to challenge you to rise above and become stronger. You don't grow through easy times. You grow through going up against hard things and pushing against them. They are there to make you better, to make you into a more unstoppable machine. The reason you can't stop is because you might be so close. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to quit when you're this close? Wouldn't it be a shame for you to walk away when you come this far? Wouldn't it be horrible for you to bail out when you're just this close to victory? You can't walk by what you see. You can't give up because it doesn't feel good. You can't let people talk you out of it. You can't let your emotions stop you from moving forward. Most people are not living their dreams because of fear, ladies and gentlemen. Fear is the most subtle and destructive of all human diseases. Fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear put people in the hospital. Fear can age you. Fear, ladies and gentlemen, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. And I ask you a question, what is the benefit? What's the benefit of allowing fear to hold you back? What's the benefit? of giving up on yourself, of not stepping out on life and taking life on. What is the benefit for you? What's the plus in that? You got to ask yourself, how long am I going to allow this to hold me back? You don't have as many opportunities in life to take that gamble and allow life to play you. You must play life. You got to make some conscious effort to begin to work to develop you. Start listening to tapes on a daily basis to begin to recondition your mind, to retrain your thinking. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself and a new life for yourself. You might appear to be strange around most people. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go. Well, I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. Now, will it be turbulent? Yes. Will it be easy? No. Will you have some opposition? Yes. Will I make a lot of mistakes? Yes. Will I get hurt? Yes. But guess what? There's no gain without pain.